Hey, Internet Harris here. I want to make a quick video today talking about a big update to probably at this point my favorite note taking application, Notability, and the release of Notability 11.0. There's some good news and, and bad news, in my opinion, some things I like and, and dislike. So let's go ahead and get into this video talking about Notability 11.0. And this video is being filmed on the iPhone 13 Pro front facing cinematic video mode just for fun. Okay, so the big thing is that this app is now free, quote unquote, but that's kind of very misleading. The app is now free if you want a very limited version of the application without all the editing features, without iCloud syncing, a lot of these other things. So if you want the app for all that it's good for, you're going to have to pay the new subscription model, which is adding to the likes of iTunes and Adobe Creative Cloud and pretty much every other application out there has gone to a subscription model, which is for the better and worse, it ultimately means it's going to be more expensive for the user. So this starts at $15 a year um, for the pro version of the app. It, you can get it now for $11.99. They have a limited time promotion. Theoretically, you could use this for free, but most likely you're going to be paying 15 bucks a year. So you're going to be paying more money for this at the end of the day. But with this new subscription model, you're going to be getting more updates and access to more of the pro features. So all those features that you may have previously seen that you would be paying for, such as all the different packages and themes and stuff like that, you now have access to all those things, which if you're somebody that hasn't purchased those yet and maybe wanted them, this is actually going to be pretty good news because some of those cost $20 each and now they're going to be included with this premium tier pricing. So that's nice at the very least. And you can try out some new features that maybe you wanted to try before, but just weren't willing to pay for separately. So that's an upside. Now, in terms of the new features, the big thing is a gallery, which is basically a platform for hosting and showing off and downloading others published pages and, and notes. So if you have a note that you really like, you can publish it to the gallery and you can download other people's notes as well. So whether you're just looking for inspiration or new designs or you just want to study and you want to look at someone else's notes for a chemistry paper or something, you can search for that and hopefully someone else has submitted one as well. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool, almost Pinterest-like way of seeing and browsing other people's notes and getting inspiration and studying and stuff like that. Now, if you download somebody else's note, you can edit it so long as they uploaded it as a notability note and not just as a PDF. If they just upload it as a PDF, you can only highlight and mark over and annotate, but you can't edit anything. So I guess make sure you're careful whether you upload as a PDF or as a notability note, because that'll change what other people are able to do with it when they download it. Now, another new feature, which I really like, is the templates. I've always complained that Notability didn't have enough templates, and I would just have to import my own templates as pages and then copy and paste those pages and duplicate it. It wasn't ideal, but it wasn't terrible either. But now they have a good amount of templates, not quite as many as something like GoodNotes, but still a good amount. And you can see the different options, whether it be for music or for note taking or uh, for agendas, stuff like that. And within the templates, you can tweak different settings to get it to your liking. You can also change the color and more. So this is great. Just having more templates available is something I really appreciate. You can now bulk manage uh, pages. So you can copy and paste between different notes, which is really nice. And you can modify multiple pages at the same time very handy. Now you can have nested folders. So you can have folders within folders within folders. If you want, you just drag a folder into another one and you're good to go. So that's pretty nice. So now for all of my previous class notes, I can have those folders within my new class notes instead of having a bunch of different ones. I can just have them all sorted together, which is nice if you're looking to do that. So there's a lot of good stuff here. Let me know what your favorite of these are. And if you think that Notability is still missing any features, I want to hear what you guys think about those down below. So I think if you like Notability and you're willing to continue to support this company, this is the way of doing that. And they will in return continue to support the user by adding new features and staying on top of the software. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Make sure to check out my iPad mini student review as well as my iPad ninth gen review if you're interested. Thanks for watching.